Good afternoon. We're standing here in Folders Lane on the outskirts of Burgess Hill, close to Ditchling Common Nature Reserve, and we're here to look at number 68, which is this beautiful house in the middle of your screen now. Just so you understand exactly where we are, if I look in a westerly direction up Folders Lane, I, uh, you can walk to the railway station. Burgess Hill Railway Station is exactly one mile. And if I look to my east, Ditchling Common Nature Reserve is literally 500, 600 yards in that direction. So great location. If you want to walk to schools, we've got Bertram Grove Primary School, which is just up the road and across through uh, uh, along the Kingsway. And uh, also you're within walking distance of Burgess Hill Girls School, which is the local uh, independent school for girls. And the Burgess Hill Academy is also within walking distance. So come and have a look. Now, we sold the owners this house in 2008. It looked nothing like this. It was a uh, fairly small, detached house that needed complete refurbishment. They have been here, as you can see, 13 years. They embarked on a major facelift and refurbishment program, and they've also extended it. So the house has come out to the front and out to the side, and they built the double garage at the same time. And then in 2013, they went over the garage and created, you'll see in a second, the new impressive master bedroom. It's a lovely big frontage, plenty of driveway parking, very well screened from the road with these lovely, I think they're bay hedges, some sort of hedge. You've got the double garage with the uh, electronic over door. So come inside and have a look around. Now the house sits on a big south facing plot. In total, the plot is just under 0.4 acres. So it's fabulous. Sorry, let me just show you this, that uh, this uh, lovely entrance with this beautiful oak entrance with the doors and the porch. So great for boots, great for logs. And then come in, I'm just gonna slip my shoes off. This house is absolutely spotless. So first things first, we've got a lovely big entrance hall with big oak floor, stairs upstairs. And then let's take you around in order. So on our left, we've got the downstairs cloakroom. Pretty little cloakroom. Absolutely spotless. Then the most important room in the house, the owners of this house have two children. They're grown up now, but they've also got a dog. So if you're someone that wants to go and walk your dog up on Ditchling Common or walk through to the Ridgeview Wine Estate, you've got footpaths galore up here. And then this room, obviously the dog room, the boot room, the utility room, the everything else room. But a fabulous bit of space, plenty of cupboards and a back door to the side. And then a lovely big family kitchen breakfast room next door. All very nicely done with shaker units. You've got granite and some wooden worktops. Space for a big range cooker. All these things, all these freestanding appliances. We always say to people, look, they're open for negotiation. If you want them, we can talk about it. And then the bifolding doors out of this fabulous big garden. The back garden measures just under 170 feet in length. It's directly south facing. You wouldn't believe it on this weather, but that is a lovely sun trap. It's a beautiful kitchen breakfast room spilling onto the garden. There's a door here into the dining room. I'll take you in this door actually, as it's right next, next to the house. But as you can see, it takes a very large dining table and chairs. We've got the plantation shutters overlooking the rear garden uh, and window overlooking the garden there. So again, beautiful room. And I'll take you back out this door, back to the hallway. We have the living room next door. It's a big double aspect room. Very much the chill out suite, as you can see, but beautifully decorated as well. They've got this lovely stone fireplace. So it's a stone surround with a proper open grate. So that is a proper open fire. If you wanted to put gas in, I'm sure that wouldn't be a problem. But a big living room overlooking the front. Plenty of parking, as I've mentioned. I mentioned schools. Obviously, you've got the, uh, the local schools and you've also got uh, this local area is totally surrounded by some fabulous independent schools. So we've got the Burgess Hill Girls School. It's got a fantastic reputation, always achieves wonderful results in the county. But that and some of the county's others, uh, excellent schools like you've got Brighton College, you've got Lansing College, Rodine, Beads, Hurst College, Ardingly, uh, Great Wolstead and uh, Cumnor House and, of course, Worth. Uh, they're all within easy reach from here. However, all of the independent schools run a, um, a, a private school bus service, which will have pickup points close by. So there will be pickup points here in Burgess Hill if you want to go to the independent schools. And then come upstairs. I mean, it is virtually a brand new house. So this is the master suite. So you'd like to think this lobby area really could be the dressing area. But don't be fooled because we've actually got a separate dressing area. 
Now, it could have been a six bedroom house or as many bedrooms as you like, really, but it's obviously arranged as a very spacious family home with lots of uh, options to spread out. Overlooking the front, across the hall, a full bathroom. So you've got a double-ended bath, lovely vanity unit with the Corian tops, all the mirrors, and again, overlooking the rear garden, and a proper walk-in wet room. Fabulous bit of space. And then we step down, which gives the ceiling height that bit of extra airiness into this fabulous main bedroom. So a huge bedroom overlooking the front of the property as well. I mean, you could easily have two double bedrooms in it, two huge double beds. That is a super king size bed and it's easily set up in here. Get a nice outlook over the garden. Real shame the sun's not out, but you get an idea of the gardens. The gardens either side of yard, well, even longer than yours, well, as long as yours, the guy to the left, uh, that is uh, even longer than your property. Like, unfortunately, a lot of areas, Folders Lane is getting a lot of backland development at the moment. Um, there's nothing going on behind this house or to either side, but uh, the other side of the neighbour to the east, uh, there is planning permission that's just been granted for two, four, uh, two uh, sorry, four, Detached house there. Sorry, I'm walking back down the stairs and actually not showing the rest of the house. So one of the back bedrooms, currently like a lot of people, got it set up as a home office with a full range of wardrobes in here. And that again, overlooking the rear gardens. This magnolia tree, I've seen that when it's out, it's spectacular. Across the hallway, another big room. Again, big double overlooking the front of the property. And again, set of wardrobes there. And then the guest suite, or from what we believe the most important person in the house is bedroom. Fabulous big room, freestanding wardrobes in here. And of course the view up the garden. And over the neighbors. And this one has an ensuite shower. It's a nice vanity unit, full towel rail, tile floors, and an oversized shower there, which is fully tiled as well. Beautiful marble tiles in here. So that, if you like, is the guest bedroom. And then the fifth bedroom across the hall, which you could almost argue, this is probably the smallest bedroom, which is a very generous double as well. So you've got five super-sized bedrooms. Square footage-wise, the house is about 2,750 square feet. So that's a lovely bit of space. And the family bathroom here. So just to recap, we're five beds, three bathrooms. This bathroom, again, double-ended bath. Basin fully tiled and a super sized shower there. Downstairs, the living room, the little gym you saw, the loggia, the dining room, and obviously a family sized kitchen. And then let, let me grab my shoes and I'll take you up the garden. Come outside. Love this kitchen. Great, the sun's come out, great timing. So. A full width south facing terrace. This was all paved and they actually had the pathway down the side all paved at the same time. And then come up the garden. I like to entertain these people, love a bit of outside space. And when you come down, you can see, get an idea of that rear terrace. And then the gazebo, that is freestanding. Again, someone wants to buy that. I'm sure they're open to suggestion there. It's got a, a light heater up here. It's even got a lockdown bar. So if you need to stay out here all year round, you've got it all. And this has got all the fly mesh curtains as well in it. So a great bit of space there. And then have a look at the garden. The mag magnolia obviously masks the house slightly, but you get a good idea. That was the master bedroom up on the top left with the big open windows there, but very private. Obviously the neighbors, you can see them, but I'm holding this up high to see over the hedges. And then look at this garden. Now, when the owners bought this from us 13 years ago, uh, the lady they bought it from, they actually only were gonna buy the house to this tree. So they managed to get this extra bit of garden. So this back section of garden is 167 feet off the back of the house by 65 across. Across the frontage of the house, it's 58 foot. So it gets slightly wider at the back, but then they had an arrangement with the previous owner to uh, rent the field behind. Now, in truth, their children are a lot older now, so they're not so worried about the garden or the extra field, but there's quite a big paddock there. And it was always a fear that one day they might develop down here, 
but it's never happened. Over the back of us here, if you actually went through the tree line over the back, that is part of the new developments that Jones Homes are building off of Folders Lane. I think it's called Folders Grove. Really lovely development there. That's pretty much there, so you know what your neighbours are. If I look just through those trees over to the southwest, that is Winton's Fishery. So if anyone lives locally or is a fisherman, Winton's Fishery is probably one of the most premier fishing um, uh, lakes in the south of England. It's got uh, record catfish, record carp, huge tench and pike in there. It's a fantastic fishery. Um, very, very expensive place to go fishing. So it doesn't uh, attract the riffraff, but a lovely place. But as you can see, I mean, even if they did develop, like I say, the garden next door, if I look through the hedge next door, you can just about see their garden it actually goes way back to the tree line. So it goes back as far as that paddock and then through the fence over there, that's where they've got planning to build four houses. The owners of this property and some of the neighbours have all discussed whether or not they want to develop in their back gardens and you could have a building plot down here at some point if you ever wanted to if you can gain the access but at the moment it's still got an enormous garden so as mentioned just to recap we're in one of burgess hill's best roads we're on a big south facing plot of just under 0.4 acres the back garden alone is directly south facing and measures 167 feet by 65. the house is in absolutely pristine order throughout there's still lots of potential if you wanted to extend the house or convert the double garage. Uh, you can convert the double garage and I'm sure you could build another garage in the front garden. You've got that much space. And while we're here, we'll just finish off. I'll show you the double garage. So we've got doors on the back of the garage. If you ever wanted to bring a trailer or, you know, a boat or something through here, you can. But a fabulous gar garage and all very, very tidy. And that's got the electric roller door. There you go. That is number 68 Folders Lane in Burgess Hill. If you're interested and you'd like to come and have a look, please call our Burgess Hill office on 01444 235 665. Thank you very much.